Today, we're discussing a petition that has been launched by SATSA to lobby the UK government to open up travel between the UK and South Africa. SATSA is the voice of inbound tourism in South Africa, and they are urging the British government to re-evaluate South Africa's red list category, which prevents even vaccinated UK citizens from travelling to South Africa. The main point is that they're not following their own science. We're sort of coming well out of the third wave, and the Delta variant is now the predominant variant in South Africa, which is exactly the same as the UK. And in fact, our levels are a lot lower than levels of other countries in which the UK has taken off the red list. And the UK is our biggest source market. So pre-COVID, we got close to 440,000 arrivals uh, from the UK. It's a, I mean, it's a, it's a particularly massive market for South Africans. Our film industry is very dependent on business from the UK. And indeed, you know, there are other aspects of the economy that uh, are contingent on that particular relationship. Well, currently, South Africa, about 90% of our cases based on the genome sequencing that we're doing are Delta variant. And what that has enabled is other destinations like Austria, France, Germany have changed our status. And, you know, they've all got different systems of status, but they've taken us off being a country with a variant of concern to high alert or high risk. Because we do still have a, a third wave. We aren't out of the third wave. But they are now letting double vaccinated people travel to from South Africa with no quarantine whatsoever, no isolation, no quarantine, no nothing. We are broadening our efforts to get the support of far larger organized business. So it's important that they come to the fore. And we're engaging with our government colleagues and sharing a lot of the information and the traction that we've been able to achieve up to now so that they will have that at their disposal. I mean, essentially, um, you know, one of the other things that happened about just over two and a half weeks ago is that the UK took India off the uh, red list. Now, the India was the, the home of the Delta variant. They had massive stuff. But it's very apparent that the reasons that they brought to bear went way beyond science, that they had certain, that, that there was a as a strong argument put forward by the Indian collective, which included the diaspora, it included business, and it included Indian government to say to the Brits, guys, this doesn't make sense for us and this doesn't work for us. And they will listen to. So there is hope. We've just got to carry on being quite dogged about what we engaged in.